All right, it's July 14th, 2023. This is part two of the persimmon identification videos. We're now over at the actual properly planted common persimmon over here. And there was fruit on the ground last time. Let me see if I can find some more. Yes, here's one. Okay, the cap just fell off, so let me grab that. So we can use both for comparison. We'll go back over to the sidewalk here to compare the fruits. And then I'll show you the plant itself. You can do this in the shade here. Alright, so... The cap fell off of this fruit, but we're just gonna pretend that's still on there. So, so here we have the Japanese persimmon, much bigger than the uh, common persimmon or American persimmon. Even though, they, I mean, they're both still immature. This is not as big as they'll get. They'll get bigger than that. But can't really see it with these two examples, but the calyxes on Japanese persimmons are usually much bigger compared to the size of the fruit than these are, although this is not a good example. This one will probably have seeds in it because the last fruit I got from this tree did. And we can just go look at the leaves now, if I can pick up that cap. We still have the Japanese persimmon leaf. And this tree's older, so it'll have bigger leaves. Oh, and there's some that fell off. That's really convenient. All right. So, let me stand in the shade. So, can you see the difference? If it, well, actually, yeah, the fact that it's getting bent by the wind is a difference. See how shiny the Japanese persimmon leaf is, and then this is not shiny at all, and does that because it's a lot thinner. They've got different kinds of veins on the back. I assume this leaf fell off. Let's get a fresh one. Anybody on here? Let's try and find a nice one. Here's a fresher leaf to compare. You can still see the difference in shininess. Flip them over. You can see the veins on the Japanese persimmon stand out a lot stronger. Got grass poking my legs. And this has orange fuzz. I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera. And then this doesn't. Both of them have the central leaf vein, which in these ones is yellow, standing out pretty strongly against the green of the leaf. Get them positioned. Their little leaf stem thing, whatever the scientific name is for that. I don't know. It's about the same size. All right. Well, yeah, I guess I can press them. So let's look for some fruit that's still on the tree. Here's one right here that's a little baby and you can see how it is attached to the stem and that the stem goes in a zigzag so the leaves one on this side one over here XYZ forming a zigzag that's called alternating leaves as opposed to opposite when they are straight across from each other so the flowers form at each leaf bud so at the base of each leaf Here's another fruit that's a bit bigger. Let's go around to this side. There's more fruit on the ground. Here, this will show off the buds very nicely. Persimmon buds are dark, either really dark gray or black, and they're kind of like a, all right camera, they're pointed, but not super sharp, although that one at the end is a bit sharper. At the end, they sort of, come on camera, they'll form a little sideways thing. But you can see that it's forming a zigzag, so like if you were to connect the dots, there'd be a zigzag up the stem, 
That's how you tell persimmons from other things. There's a lot of fruit on this branch here. If I turn the brightness up, you can see them. And, oh yeah, lots up there. Let me try to zoom in. There's a big one up there. And let's go back over here. And then we can look at the trunk. I didn't actually really show the trunk of the Japanese persimmon, so whoopsies. And there's some Spanish moss growing on here, which if you're familiar with the southern U.S., you're probably super used to. You go around to the side. So this bark is gray, and it's got really deep fissures. Like I can just stick my whole fingernail in there. And the fissures are kind of orangey-brown tinted. And up here you can see the orange more. If, if we had a magical ladder or we could float like this was a video game, I could show you further up the tree. It would become less fishery or craggly as it, the branches get younger, but we can also just show that with these branches because obviously these branches aren't as old. So if we go out the branch, it'll get smoother and smoother as the bark gets younger. Eventually when this thing is like well, actually, I don't know how old this tree is. I cannot fit my hand around it. I could probably use two hands to get my hands around it. But eventually when this thing is like 50 plus something ridiculous like that, the skin will get even more crackly. These will turn into big like squarish chunks and it'll look like alligator skin. Here's another fruit. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but these fruits are not ripe, so you cannot eat them. They would be disgusting. Don't eat unripe fruit. <laughs> and I think that's it for this video, because we got the leaves, got the bark, we got the fruit. Uh, oh, hey. Here's another one. This might be a seedling or just a root sucker. So you can look at this one too. It's probably a root sucker. And there's some leaves that fell probably. I don't know if they have a male persimmon tree around here somewhere, but they might. That might be why this has stuff. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully this helped you learn how to identify them. Bye-bye.